Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just want to make a quick video on the CKX Titan. Um, I've had this uh, this just this season alone. Uh, ran into a few issues. Uh, the dealer that I got it from and CKX and Kimpex took care of me. Um, I went online and made a bunch of comments that I feel kind of bad about that I want to hopefully free up. I've, I've gone on and made all kinds of positive comments about the helmet. Um, but when you pay a lot of money, you get frustrated when stuff doesn't work right. And I understand that, you know, not every one of these are going to be perfect out of the box. And I just had a bad egg. So uh, what they did was they replaced these lenses, the ones that I had before you had it powered up. And there was an actual fault that I identified with the uh, with my meter um, that there was some kind of uh, issue with the heating elements um, and uh, was causing the heating elements to not work properly and you know therefore giving fogging issues and icing issues and all that stuff so took it for a ride and um, I was pleased with it um, works very well and uh, absolutely no fogging issues whatsoever when it's plugged in it's working correctly so uh the only issue i did have was um if you guys ride around trees or even on trails i mean uh these cables um aren't very good and i ended up snapping one of them um in the plug here uh another one that i bought so i replaced it i ran it up to the handlebars with a lot of slack on this end so you can you know turn and everything um <clears throat> that plug failed so pretty frustrating when you're on a trail because if you're not running the heating elements on these goggles uh they will fog up uh if you're not going really fast and um you're able to you know keep the air moving around them goggles so what i did was i went online and found a uh a power pack because you know kimpex or ckx want you know 90 bucks for their you know two thousand or eighteen hundred milliamp hour or whatever battery pack they have and i just thought that was ridiculous so went on uh amazon and found this one um and it's a 12 volt output three thousand milliamp hour it's got three amp output it has a uh, protection circuit uh inside of itself um right there it says overcharge and uh, discharge protection short circuit protection so all that stuff takes place inside the box itself and then it has a little indicator light here and the only thing the only modification i had to do was take my one of the cables that i busted um and salvage it basically splice it into this five and a half um adapter plug so it'll fit to your battery pack all right and then uh it has a little switch all right turn that on and then you have a little indicator this right now has got the original charge on it so because uh, i literally just got this and uh we're going to charge it overnight but uh one of the other concerns would be here and i'm gonna leave this on because um, i'm gonna test this out here uh, in a minute is uh you know how long how long does that battery pack actually last and um not really sure. I don't know if anybody else out there has tested this one, um, but it, it's not really, to me, you know, heating element on this setup here is real thin. I shouldn't really have too much power draw, but um, what I figured was, you know, I'll bring the adapter with me when we stop. We can plug it in and charge it, whatever, but um, if I decide to get another one, um, I made another plug. I was messing around here, so... Um, and all it is is the RCA plug, right, that will fit into my heater plug on the sled. And then to the five and a half uh, port so I can charge that while riding um, or another pack because they're relatively cheap. Um, you can even make these on your own if you're, if you're good at electronics. Um, I was going to do it, but I... I opted for just paying for the the one off Amazon here. So, um, but what uh, I figure is, uh, if I do get another pack, I can just run, you know, the pack up in here, uh, which stays really warm inside this bag, and uh, run the cord up through there and plug it in in there, 
along with my battery pack for my cell phone and my cell phone because I um, converted my cigarette outlet plug to this Marine uh, 3 amp fast charge, uh, which works great, um, with two USB ports on it. So I charge my battery pack and my phone off of that. Um, and now if I do get an extra battery pack, I can use this plug, uh, for that purpose. So, um, let's test this out. So right now it's, I don't know, it's probably about 25, 28 degrees here in the garage. It's pretty cold. Um, humidity is kind of low, but what I'm going to do is like just breathe on directly to the inside of the goggle. Um, and you know, this is very unrealistic, I know, but um, as you can see, you know, we're clear right now. Um, but I, I don't really have a way to measure the temperature in there. But um, if you're breathing directly on the goggles, then you know, these I don't care what goggle you got, the thing's gonna fog up. All right, so hopefully, the camera doesn't fog. <sighs> And look at that. There's nothing. Okay. I mean, to be honest with you, oh, there's a little spot down here. Is that on the outside? Yeah. Well, you know, I, like I said, it's very unrealistic. As you're riding, I mean, there's air blowing all the night and everything. It's just all you're doing is keeping a little bit of heat in there so it kills the humidity so it doesn't attach to the, the lens. So, um,. Kind of for a uh, for another test here. I got the good old hundred percent here with the single lens. Um, look at that, right? So obviously, you know, these will fog up. But you know, if I breathe directly onto the CKXs, and they've only been on for a little bit too, so maybe you know, as I uh, let them sit there on for a while, we. Uh, We'll have a better result, but pretty happy with it. Um, seems to work. Uh, and the whole idea here will be that, you know, we'll run the cable. Uh, I wear a FXR, uh, 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 the mono suit. So what I'm going to do is, and it has an inside pocket, right? So I'm going to run this down and through, uh, you know, my neck uh, to the inside of the, uh, to the inside of the suit, and then just, Put the battery in in the inside pocket uh, and just run it like that so hopefully uh, we get a better result next time trail riding and it's, it'll be nice because i won't have a bunch of wires dangling i mean the only thing you should really have is that tether there um, which is pretty annoying as it is but um anyways uh hey props for uh, ckx and the dealer and kimpex for helping me out getting me a new lens um and uh hey i look forward to a ride come coming up this weekend i'll give this battery pack a test so if you guys have any questions shoot me a pm or comment below and and uh we'll see i'll help you out best i can and uh hey stay safe out there guys